Okay, today basically what God's sharing with me is a real simple thing, but it's really a great revelation that'll change your world. Is uh, let's see, the scripture I've been meditating on is Second um, Peter one three that we obtain faith through righteousness, and what that means that is that if as I come to know, and as you come to know who you are in Christ, the righteousness that you are, that you are in right standing with God, as you begin to understand more and more of the righteousness of God, who you are in Him, that you are righteous, then you begin to walk more and more in faith. It gives you more confidence. And one of the things that God put together for me today is, um, He said that through righteousness, we, um, we have peace through righteousness. We, uh, are, oh, we are no longer poor through righteousness and understanding that righteousness. For example, 2 Corinthians 9, 9 says, He has given to the poor His righteousness endures forever. Or His righteousness, uh, something like that. In other words, when you give, righteousness is not being poor no more. Then uh, 2 Peter 2, 24, um, Himself bore our sins on his, on his body on the tree, that we being dead to sins would live to righteousness by the stripes of Jesus you have been healed. So, righteousness is being healed because he paid this price for our penalty of sin and all these things are the result of sin. So, because he paid the price, we are righteous and that means that we have the right not to be poor no more. We have the right not to be sick no more. And we have the right that with the seeds that we sow, we get a harvest for, which is 2 Corinthians 9, 10. And then um, we also have the right to have peace, which... The work of righteousness is peace, and I think that is really good scripture. That second, I mean, that's Isaiah 32, 17. And then the last one I wanted to share with you um, is really exciting. Let me just turn around here so I can keep talking. Um, Isaiah 54, 14 says that in righteousness we are established. So the more that we know who we are in Jesus, the more we know that we are the righteousness of God, not something we earn, but something we become because of who God is and what he did for us. Um, it says, you shall be established in righteousness. You shall be far from oppression, you should, because you don't, for you shall not fear, and terror shall not come near you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises in you in judgment, trying to say, oh, she sinned last night, she deserves cancer. Oh, she did this last night, she deserves uh, this horrible thing. Well, every tongue that raises against you, every demonic power that tries to say that about you, uh, you sh uh, the God shall condemn, because that is our heritage. Our heritage is that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, and the harvest and the reward of that is prosperity, healing and wholeness protection and, uh, and then the next word says for this is for their righteousness is of me okay so my revelation today is that the more you understand righteousness the more you'll grow in faith the less you'll have to work toward your faith because your faith will grow because you understand that you are righteous in God, Jesus. And my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today is Thursday, and I have church tonight. Yay! So I'll talk to you tomorrow.